A common household chemical found in hundreds of consumer products is now found in virtually all of our bodies. Bay Area researchers have linked this high levels of this chemical to a subtle change in pregnant women. Dr. Kim Mulvihill joins us to explain what's going on here. Kim? Well, Alan, the chemical is a flame retardant, and the change has to do with thyroid hormones. These hormones control things like heart rate, blood pressure, weight, and energy level. And in pregnancy, thyroid hormones are essential for normal fetal development. Most women know the drill. When you're pregnant, you have the do's. They should exercise, get a lot of sleep. And the don'ts. You know, when I like drink and smoke and do drugs and stuff like that. And I try to be healthy and realize there is a new life forming and honor that. But now a new report reveals pregnant women don't have much of a choice when it comes to certain chemicals flame retardants known as PBDEs. PBDEs are used in everything from furniture to carpets and computers and end up in household dust, the soil, even our food. We do know that it ends up in uh, the food. Now these chemicals may alter the levels of an important hormone in pregnant women. Researcher Dr. Jonathan Chevrier is with UC Berkeley School of Public Health. What we found is that uh, women who had higher levels of a flame retardant, that's called PBDE, um, were more likely to have altered thyroid hormone level during pregnancy. The thyroid hormone plays a key role in brain and fetal development. However, in this study, the change in the levels was small. The public health implications unknown. Dr. Elliot Main heads up the Department of Obstetrics at California Pacific Medical Center. It is curious what these chemicals are doing in our bodies, so I'd have some concern, but there's certainly nothing that would make me fearful for pregnancy outcome at this point. Now, Californians have the highest level of exposure to PBDEs in the nation because of past fireproofing regulations. Today, many of these chemicals have been banned, but many of us still have them in our furniture and carpets, and they leach out and end up in our dust. But you can reduce your exposure by vacuuming, vacuuming frequently, with an HVAC filter, and then hmm. clean your filter often. Often. All right, okay. Kim. Thanks.